So here we have a ignition coil off of a strimmer. But if it was on a lawnmower with the um, cylinder facing the side, and say someone as they're taking it in and out of the shed, it rubs on the wall or something in there. Or for any reason that that cable gets damaged, and repaired or bodged or whatever, this is going to show you how to fix it. Cut it off just before the mark that it's actually broken, that where it's been um, damaged. And grab a screw, any screw, like uh, say something like that there. This one's a bit dodgy. It's meant to be holding the stereo, but it's falling out. But um, screw that into the hole, and then take it out again. Then grab another a spare a little bit of like, off cut of HD lead or whatever off an old lawnmower or old coil which don't work or whatever and screw it into there and get it down a fair way and then cut the head off maybe a centimetre after the um, like a centimetre outwards so that you've got a little bit of screw sticking out and then screw I just grab the whole cable put it on there and just screw it in just screw it into there that's what it should look like. That's about, well, it's not a centimetre, it's probably about 5mm, 6mm. But, um, I'll show you here now. I'll just put you into the tripod of crackiness. So, then, it's kind of hard to get a thread cut started once you start screwing it in. The idea of putting it in the first time and then taking it out is to make it easier the second time round to put this in. And then, you got it in. You might want to put some silicon around there to seal it up or get some heat activated like shrink wrapping tape stuff which you put over it, heat up the heat gun or hair dryer or whatever you can use to heat it and it shrinks on and that will water tight it or do both actually, put some silicon on and then that weird stuff. Then on the other end, what I do, because they're pretty much universal, is one of these weird spring things which you get out of the coils off of old two stroke engines. You just grab a pair of pliers and you push it into the um, lead about 8 or 9 mil from the end I've already done this just a pre-video thingy but just push that onto the lead like that and grab a boot thingy spark blood cap just push it through the hole at the end like so I should have grabbed a spark plug. I'll grab one out of this. Whoops! Of course this thing's spark plug isn't even tightened up. At least it wasn't. <laughs> that wasn't. And then of course, it fits on fine. It's like that. If you don't want to use a boot this big really, that's just off one of the lawnmower which just happens to be lying around. I've got my torch and a load of other crap on the floor now. Right. Right. So that's how you fix these little things. That is probably, that's actually probably right, just about the right length for an engine. Uh, oh. Well, I'll say the coil was down here somewhere. No, that's just about right. Uh. So, that's how you fix your uh, standard little um, ignition coil. This will this you can do on just about any um, small ignition coil like this but you need to make sure you get this bit here right otherwise if water gets in there the connections in there will corrode and you'll lose spark even if it's just moisture even if it's a foggy day and fog gets into wherever it's stored like a shed you can screw it up so uh, good luck if you try and see you later